Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Man, glory to God. Jesus loves you. Praise the Lord. We got sway and groove right now. So about 30 minutes of some jazz and some funk. Amen. And some tinkling of the piano keys. I love it. Percussion. The lute, which is the guitar. Amen. They got everything going on up in here. Amen. Everything. And some word, too. Here's John 3.16 by H.L. Stein. Don't forget, we got that altar call coming up in the last five minutes of this segment. Amen. God so loved the world, He gave His one and only Son, whosoever shall believe, God will save and set you free. God's beloved Son, He hung upon a tree and took upon Himself the sins of you and me. Humbly suffering in dreadful agony, He cried, My God, why have you forsaken me? Yes, upon that tree, God's handed down decree, the Son's holy life, that atoning sacrifice, so you and I can cry.
can you not go, yeah? <laughs> that was Barbecue, BBQ by Bob Johnson and the Funk Dogs. Oh my goodness, that was good. I'm sitting over here rocking out going, mm, da, da, da. we're made in his image. Da, 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 da. We're made in his image. Hallelujah. Da, 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 da. Anyway. <laughs> I love that song. That is a great barbecue song. In my neighborhood, they play that song all the time for the barbecues. You could always know that you would hear that song. I'll hear some variation of it. Amen. Because it's just one of those good barbecue songs. Like, yeah. Woohoo. Dogs on the grill. Got the burgers on the grill. Got me some big old thick ribs on the grill. Gonna be tender, y'all. Hey, gonna be tender, y'all. Okay. <laughs> if you have never received Jesus Christ into your heart and you like to do so, now is the time. If you are backslidden and you want to come back to Jesus, now is the time. Seriously. You can receive forgiveness for your, of your sins. You receive peace in your heart. Amen. And have joy everlasting through Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the son of the most high God, Jehovah. For all you Jews out there, all you Gentiles, all you Jehovah's Witnesses, all you folks, black and white, light and dark, short and tall, Jew, Greek, whatever, Jesus loves you. Amen. Some of you guys believe in that Dalai Lama. Some of you guys believe in the lettuce head people. I'm not making fun of you. That's the only name I know. Some of you guys believe in different things. The ones with the red shoestring tied on their finger. Some of you guys believe in a whole bunch of other stuff. I can tell you this thing, this one thing that's true. Jesus loves you. Even though you believe all that other stuff, he loves you. He'll never stop loving you. And he wants you to know the truth. So this is what I encourage you to do. Muslim, Greek, Jew, Gentile alike, all of y'all say, Jesus, if you're real, show me. Show me. Amen. And for everybody else that believes that Jesus is Lord and the guy raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. You want to get saved right now? We can do it right now. Let's do it together. Amen. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but want to, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father, in the name of Jesus, amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues, for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to letgradionetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church. Get baptized with water. Take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. Tell them you got saved on Barack FM Radio. And begin reading the Holy Bible, starting with the New Testament, uh, the book of John. Congratulations. All right, that's LUTG Radio, Barack from Radio. It's a part of the LUTG Radio Network, but it is not up at this time. Amen. I need some additional DJs, so if you want to do that, you want to be uh, a DJ, amen, you want to play some music, I got something for you. Amen. 
Glory to God, let's do this together. Amen. We are out to be a blessing to the entire world. I told you. I told you my dream. My dream is to not only save souls. That's my first. And we're doing that right now. But the uh, addition to that is to be an employer. Amen. To bless somebody with employment. And we're going to do it. Amen. Through advertisers and sponsors and, and selling good products and we're going to do that thing. Amen. We're doing it. We're hustling. I should say we're faith in. That's what we're doing. We're faith in and we're walking it out. We're believing. If you want to sponsor LUTG Radio, definitely give me a call. Uh, 773-598-8900. You can also call 858-848-6186. Leave a message. Amen. If I'm not there, uh, leave a message. And also, you can look me up on LUTGRadio at gmail.com. That's LUTGRadio at gmail.com. Uh, email is the fastest and the best because I'll get it right away. Oftentimes, when I'm on the phone, I can't take the call. But if I'm on the phone, I can still look at the email. So, uh, just uh, send me an email to LUTGRadio at gmail.com. We got an event coming up, and I want some, I'm want i looking for some sponsors. Amen. We're doing a little travel thing here. So we're looking for some sponsors. We want to be able to show everybody uh, throughout the areas that we'll be traveling in that, hey, you can check out this website or this company for whatever product you may need. Amen. You guys do shipping and delivering. Amen. We'll get some people to look at, see your sign and uh, patron your website, your store. So check out LUTG Radio at gmail.com, LUTG Radio.com, LUTG Radio Network.com. Amen. Send me an email. Say, hey, Kathy, I'll sponsor you. Hey, Kathy, I, uh, I'll sponsor you. Put my tag on your car. Put my magnet on your car. That's what we're doing. We're putting magnets on the car. So we're looking for sponsors, amen, that want their magnets on the car. Amen. And um, we'll be doing that for you. So we're looking for some sponsors. Um, different amounts. Amen. We got that on the website. And I, I'll put it on the very first page so you can see it and click on it. Uh, but I, I really do need some sponsors, and I need some advertisers, more advertisers for the show. So, um, and if if uh, you hire me to do a job for you, really pay me. I've had people to not pay me. I've done excellent work for them, and they not paid me. It's really difficult when you are doing it on your own, and you you're going on faith that people will pay you. Never ask somebody to do something for you when the intent of your heart is not to pay them. Don't do it. You'd be better off saying, could you help me? I don't have any money. It's better to say, state that up front than to tell them, I'm going to pay you. When you tell them, I'm going to pay you up front, they pl they make plans for that money. You know what I'm saying? And they believe you. So it's kind of too late after they've done all the work to say, well, I can't pay you. You better figure out a way to pay them. And pay them in cash because, see, they have bills too. I have bills too. I had a minister to not pay me. I did the work for her and she wouldn't pay me. And I even gave her a steep discount and she still wouldn't pay me. You know what she said it was? She was walking by faith that I would do it for free. You didn't ask for free. You said you would pay. See, had you said, I want this for free, I'd have given you a free product. You feel me? But, you know, just like she has bills to pay, I have bills to pay. And she went and she paid other people because this guy strong-armed her. And he told her, you're going to pay my wife. She didn't perform. And then she went and spent the money on this food, all this food. And really, nobody really ate the food. So what she did became a waste. So basically, you know, when you do God's people wrong, whatever you, have you misused that item that he gave you to pay them, he'll make sure it spoils. You feel me? He'll make sure it goes nowhere. So, pay God's people. Don't be stingy. Don't take from them. Don't mistreat them. You're like, oh, but I ain't no Christian. Especially you. Don't mistreat God's people. Because even though you're not a Christian, when you bless Christians, you bless God's people, God will bless you because, and he's done it. He's blessed non-Christians before because they were a blessing to his people, to Christians. He's done that. And he, he'll continue to do it. He's blessed them abundantly. So, really. Alright, if you want to sponsor LUTG Radio, you want to advertise on LUTG Radio, I got great rates, unfair 
I work, you know, I work hard for you, and I work hard to get your product up there and uh, let let people know about it. All right, and you guys that listen to the show, definitely when I tell you I'm going to a concert, I want you to show up at that concert, buy a ticket. I don't give you like out crazy prices for concerts, you know. Come show, show your love. Say, hey, I'm here because I heard this on L U T G Radio. I do like your music, so I'm going anyway. And then give them a shout out. Tell them L U T G Radio sent you. And then you can get some concert tickets on L U T G Radio.com. The next concert coming up is um Lecrae and uh Toby Mac and Skillet. Amen. Check that out, y'all. Check it out. It's on L U T G Radio.com. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. They're traveling all over. All right, y'all. Thank you, Lord, for the successful show, The Many Souls Saved by the Word of God, now covered in the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We believe you love us and receive your love. You be glorified in all the earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Remember, give God some praise. Give Him some praise. Tell Him how much you love Him. Tell Him you love Him. Give God all you got. Tell him that you love him. Tell him you love him. Tell Jesus that you love him. It doesn't matter what you sound like to you because all you're doing is you worship him from your heart. And you're telling God that you love him, you appreciate him, you worship him, you thank him. You're so grateful to be alive. I wrote this poem that says, if I could just raise my hand and give you praise. See, you don't have a handicap. Raise your hand. And for those with a handicap, they just want to be able to lift their hand on their own to give God some praise. They want that so much. For people that have no control over their body, their mind is still working and the only thing they want to do is tell their mind to tell their body to move. And for some reason they can't, but they have this faith. They believe and they're thinking and they're thinking it as a man thinking so is he. So they're thinking in their mind and in their heart, I can walk, I can talk, I can move my arms. Jesus, Jesus, thank you, Lord, because I believe, I believe you will heal me, Lord. I receive my healing, oh Lord God. I am the man that walked to the pool of Bethesda. I am the woman that touched the garment of your clothes. I am the man whose friends lured me down in the roof. I am, Lord. I am. I am in your name, O oh God. I am in your heart, O oh God. I am in your breath, O oh God. I believe, Lord. You will heal me, deliver me. Set me free. You've already paid the price for me, Lord God. I receive. Lord, I know it didn't happen yesterday, but today is a new day. I am believing, oh God. I am believing. I'm not waiting. I'm not looking at tomorrow, God. I'm receiving my healing today. See, this is what the handicaps say on the inside of them. Those that are in pain, that are in need. So praise for them. Praise with them. Stand in faith. Call them healed. Don't call them a dog. Don't call them messed up. Call them blessed. Call them delivered. Call them healed. Pray for them. Tell them about Jesus. You worship him when you tell somebody about the glory of God. It's worship. It's love. God will give you words to say. All you got to do is be willing. Say, Lord, I'll do it. Speak through me, God. I'll do it. Never say, God, why don't you use me? You know, you know what he tell you? Why didn't you step out? Why didn't you go on the corner with that bullhorn and tell somebody about Jesus? Why didn't you knock on the doors of your neighbors and tell somebody about Jesus? Why didn't you invite that man to church? See, I already put the work in you, but you ain't done nothing. So don't ever tell God, why ain't you using me, Lord? Because he'll tell you. I put it in you to use you, but you keep telling me no. So, step out on faith. If it's passing out a track or inviting somebody to church, tell them that Jesus loves them. Tell them your testimony. Show them some love and some kindness. Do it. Just do it. 
step out on faith and show some love. Amen. This is Kathy Brox for LUTG Radio telling you, Jesus te llama querida y yo está bien. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. Amen, amen, amen. Here's John 3, 16. shall believe God will save and set you free for God's beloved son he hung up on a tree and took upon himself the sins of you and me humbly suffering in dreadful agony he cried my God why have you forsaken me yes upon that tree God's handed down to Sons of the night, that's a toning sacrifice, so you and I can cry. I'm a father, tell me why have you so blessed me? 